and the reason why the front subframe has been dropped out is because also where the sump's been removed it's very likely that there's oil coming from the joint between the sump and the block. So good afternoon everyone, it's Monday afternoon and just doing another one of our weekly MX5 Restorer updates. Um, sorry for my eye everyone, I have got an infected eye and we did a video last week on some daytime running lights and I was wearing my glasses and that's why that's why I was doing it because it looked a lot worse than what it is. I'll probably hold, I should hold the camera this way really. So let's run through what we've got to get on with this week. Um, this Mark II is going out. The lady's just literally turned up to come and pick this up. Uh, Red Mark One, seven. Over, I've just literally run through all this. So I think on this one, it is both arches and seals. You can see down the bottom there that it's quite crusty, and I think yeah, it's been filled before. So that's that's one to bring in. Let's have a quick look around the other side. See how bad this one is. Yes, yeah, so this has had all work done on it. You can see that it's blown out here, which is always a telltale of arches going. We've got some small issue down on there. Uh, this Mark One, I think it's for us to do to check seals, and and I think it's hard to get into gear. So we've got to check a few things out on that one. Uh, this Mark 1 is the near side seal So that's, this is just in for the near side seal and this one is chassis rails Yeah, this Mark 2.5 chassis rails uh, That's all that we've got waiting to come in Ashley's cars come back from the paint shop This is something that he was working on in his own time quite a rare color it's evolution orange, I think I'm pretty certain it is. So he's had he's had both wings painted. Um, he done extensive rust repairs on this. Um, it was basically full seal end plates, full seal, full seals inner seals, the full length front to back, um, full seal end plates. Yeah, the whole lot. So it's just come back from the paint shop. So I suppose he will be looking forward to putting that back together at the weekend. It'll give him give him something to do let's go and see uh, I've just been talking about how happy you are to get your car back Ash now I can put it back together and sit it on my drive until summer, summer comes again <laughs> <laughs> oh. right let's just turn the, turn this down you alright Roy? You can't hear me You alright, Roy? Oh, yeah. Alright? Yeah, good. good. Come see what you're what you're doing. Top we're in the process of doing. Top secret. Top secret, that is secret, yeah. Um, normal story really. Lots of rust. <laughs> you don't get many of these, do you? No, <laughs> You got some. Uh, right, you got some zinc primer. Probably on your bio here. Yeah, probably. It's pretty shocking here for fucking years. Um, this one when it came in didn't actually look too bad. Um, it had previous um, art repairs. Yeah. It had previous art repairs done before, um, so it wasn't too bad. But um, don't look like there was much left of it. No, they, there was no inner arch. As far as I'm going to say about that. Yeah. Um, so, unfortunately, the inner seal was rusted out uh, when the previous repairs were done. None of this was replaced, so I've had to replace the seal end plate. You got a lot done today, really, didn't you? I've got a fair bit done, just cracked on. Um, 
I had to repair in the back here, which leads on into behind here. Was that all gone as well? Yeah, it rusted out through there. Um, so I repaired that. Still end plates on. In the seals on. And I'm just currently doing the secret jack and point at the moment. Yeah. Um, and then I've got to get rid of the original panel there and chunk that out all around here and replace a couple of new um, inner, inner arch. And then uh, we'll go Alta. It's had some dent. Yeah, it's had some paintless dent, dent removal yeah, in its past. At some point, yeah. Um, just one side? Yeah, just in the one side. That's not too bad then. No, it's not so bad. So I should. I'll probably have it done tomorrow. Early. You've, I was going to say, you've, um, you've just got that done, haven't you? Yeah. Cool, alright. So. Crack on. Alright, good. <laughs> Cheers, boy. Right. Making some more holes, Ash? Yeah, because this car needs some more holes. What are you doing on this then? That doesn't help. There we go. So it looks like you've got inner seal cut out, mm -hmm. inner, inner, upper, bit some rust in there, jacking point. Seal to floor pan. Everything. Quite a lot, isn't there? What about the other side? The other side's not fair. Was that the worst side? Hmm? Was that the worst side? Yeah, the other side. This side's, this side's already been cleaned up, isn't it? Yeah. Get, get rid of the shadow there. Oh, this side's much better, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite amazing how some sides just go than the other, but then there is an argument to say this is the curb side, and that's where more rainwater residual is on there and you go through more puddles and fills the seal up possibly more yeah but I actually tend to find like it's driver side usually is <laughs> rust just doesn't make its mind up sometimes does it no it's like it's it has a mind, mind of its own <laughs> if rust becomes sentient then they've really got a big problem sentient rust yeah that would be bad <laughs> I don't think we'd win <laughs> Cool. All right. Well, this is what else are you doing on this? It's just these repairs, isn't it? Uh, there's a jacking point in front as well. You can do that. What side? That one there. Oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah, you remember putting your finger through there, Chris? I don't think it was my finger. I think I used a a prodding device. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, it was an implement I put in my f hand and I I'll used you, it to I'll prod. Alright, right, so is that it? Is, is that it with you? Yeah, that's it. Alright, thanks. Okay, so I'm. <clears throat> I've got some um, small mechanical works going on over in in my side. Ash, where's my torch? Hey. We should put this when this where? camera gets launched. They, you should ask the camera people like how long it took where's, them to find. But where's my torch? I can't. Yeah, but it's out there. It's, all right. Thank you very much. So I've got some. I've got a small mechanical job going on here. So this car was in for a few things. We had to. Um, we replaced the ECU in it. Um, it looked like it was, it's got an aftermarket ECU in it and it's possible that the alternator may have had a charging spike and maybe damaged it. We don't, don't really know. So I've, I've got that part of the job done. The, so we, what we did was we put a Mark 1 1.8 alternator on so that eliminated the regulating side that the ECU has to do and I knew that it would just be, you know, it's a safe voltage put the ECU in, got it running, and, but the customer had an oil leak and he wanted to trace that. The sump on this car has been off before, but the oil leak, I've got everything stripped down at the moment, so 
the trace and oil, oil leaks to front crankshaft seal um, a rear crankshaft seal and the reason why the front subframe has been dropped out is because also where the sump's been removed it's very likely that there's oil coming from the joint between the sump and the block so I'm about to take the take the sump off and go from there really and we'll see how that goes let's go and find Jim right Jim yeah, I'm just doing my snowman impression. Doing your snowman impression. So, yeah. what are you working on here then? Inner and outer seals, both sides. Which you started last week and you're just doing the finishing up filler work. Yeah. Cool. Nothing really much to show on this, really, is it? It's just, no, it's it's just unless people at home want to watch filler dry, which I don't think you guys do. A lot of our stuff can be repetitive, but it's what we do day in, day out, really. So, try to do. We do our um, weekly updates on a Monday, but I try and wait to some point at the Monday where it does, where things, something exciting may be going on, which is why I've just done one on my ramp with these front subframe down, so. All right, cheers, Jim. Okay, so that's, um, that's it for our weekly update. Thanks for watching. Thanks for regularly staying tuned and watching our videos. We appreciate it all because if it wasn't for you guys, there'd be no point in us doing this um, we enjoy doing it let us know your comments and feedback and we'll see you on the next one bye bye